you know, like, I, I lost my father at a time where I needed the help. Mm -hmm. I lost him at a time where yeah. I needed We're that nigga. I, need, I needed that voice, bro. And what a lot of people don't understand is that you cannot ever replace the voice of a father, bro. And it wasn't like he just died. It was like 18 years, maybe living with your dad for a year and then, you know, going back to your mom's. I love being with my mom's, but living with him for a year. Like a, a child is not meant to live um, without his parents. Mm -mm. They can be split up. They can be mm -mm. broken up. Mm -mm. You know, they don't agree. They don't see eye to eye. They can't work it out. Mm. But for me, what really always fucked me up is that I always felt like I was a good kid. I was a good kid. And I felt like I was going to get the time to get the attention from my older bro, from my, from my, from, from my older blood. I thought I was going to get that attention. I thought I would leave school, you know. I was at boarding school. So I, I, I can't wait to get out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't wait. I can't wait to get out and speak to my pops mm. and go see what he does. Mm. See what. Let him tell me tell me stories of how he found love, how he met my mother. I never got to hear those stories from yeah. him. I never got to hear the story of boy. You know, find a woman like this. Find a woman like that. Treat a woman like this. Treat a woman like that. I didn't get that. When he passed away, I was so angry, so upset, so upset that why my life? Why like why does my life have to turn to shit when all the kids that I that I went to school with have both parents coming to see them at football games, coming to watch them play basketball, bringing them picnic sex, you know? I didn't get that and I didn't get to see you after. So I was so angry, angry, super angry. Even if you dig up some of my music. My music was either very angry, upset, or depressed, you know. So my depression took, um, you know, took form in being angry at the guys who were doing it. Yeah. And uh, I guess a lot of new artists or artists who haven't broken into the game might get those feelings sometimes. It's like, fuck, my songs aren't being recognized. I'm not being recognized. Why is nobody patting me on the back saying I'm dope? My dad is not there to do that for me. So I need it from y'all niggas. Mm -hmm. Y'all niggas tell me I'm dope. Mm -hmm. You guys better tell me I'm dope. And you know I'm dope. You know? And if I see you wearing something that I wore last week, I got beef with you. <laughs> you biting my style. You be killing niggas in the fashion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So all that anger, you know, for me, you know, I had that anger in me up until 25, you know? And I always said, this is my last album coming back to the question that you asked I always said my f my first album will be my last album because I didn't expect to make it past 25 I didn't expect to make it past 26 mm. for me I wanted to go out young like Tupac mm. I wanted to die young like Tupac I wanted to die like a Kurt Cobain suicidal thoughts is not anything new to me mm. it might seem like you know now it's time for every rapper and every artist to talk about having anxiety and being mm -hmm. suicidal i can i can i can testament to people that i i, I know what suicidal thoughts are mm. i know what trying to go through with suicidal thoughts mm. is i know how to